Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two triangles, uh, the yellow triangle uh, ABC and this uh, green triangle uh, CDE put together as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these uh, blue segments uh, CD, AC and uh, this segment uh, EB are uh, three units uh, each whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, CE is uh, five units and furthermore uh, this segment uh, AB is equal to this segment uh, DE and both of them uh, X uh, units long and now our task is uh, to find the value of uh, X please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the skill. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this whole uh, straight angle. Both uh, these angles, uh, they are 180 degrees. I'm going to label uh, this uh, angle as our angle alpha. Then this uh, other angle is going to be 180 degrees uh, minus alpha. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, green uh, triangle uh, CDE whose uh, side lengths are uh, 3, 5 uh, and X and this angle uh, in between over here is uh, alpha. And now let's recall the law of cosines and let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC whose uh, side lengths are lowercase a, lowercase b and lowercase c. And the corresponding angles are uh, alpha, beta and gamma respectively. Then we are going to have a three law of uh, cosines as you can see over here. And let's focus on this uh, first uh, formula a square equal to b square plus c square minus two times b c times the uh, cosine of angle alpha as you can see over here. This is our angle alpha and this opposite side is going to be a and this other two sides are uh, B and C. So therefore we are going to use uh, this law of cosine uh, on this uh, green triangle uh, CD and that is going to give us uh, X square equals to the square of two other sides uh, 3 square plus uh, 5 square minus uh, 2 times uh, 3 times uh, 5 uh, times the cosine of our angle alpha and now let's simplify we are going to get uh, x square equals to 9 plus uh, 25 minus uh, if we multiply all these numbers uh, that is going to give us uh, 30 times uh, cosine of alpha and now if we add these numbers that is going to give us uh, 34 so therefore uh, we are going to have x square equal to 34 minus uh, 30 times uh, cosine of alpha. I am going to label this one as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Now we are going to focus on this uh, yellow triangle uh, ABC. And we are going to apply the very same uh, law of cosines uh, on this uh, triangle ABC as well. And bear in mind that our this uh, side uh, is X. Uh, and the opposite angle is uh, 180 degrees minus alpha. And now let's make an observation. We can see that whole uh, side length uh, of this triangle uh, BC is going to be 3 plus 5. That is going to give us uh, 8 units. And this uh, other side uh, is uh, 3 units. Let's go ahead and apply this uh, law of cosines uh, on this uh, triangle as well. So that is going to give us uh, x square equal to 3 square plus 8 square minus 2 times 3 times 8 times cosine of 180 degrees minus alpha. Let's simplify that is going to give us x square equals to 9 plus 64 minus if we multiply all these numbers that is going to give us 48 times cosine of 
180 degrees minus uh, alpha and now let's recall uh, this uh, cosine of 180 degrees minus alpha is equal to minus uh, cosine of alpha so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this cosine of 180 degrees minus alpha with this uh, negative uh, cosine of alpha over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see 9 plus 64 is going to give us uh, 73 and here negative and negative sign is going to make a positive sign so therefore we can write uh, x square equal to 73 plus uh, 48 uh, times the cosine of alpha and i'm going to label this one as our question number two so thus we are ended up with these uh, two equations and now we are going to compare these uh, two equations and we can see our uh, left hand sides are uh, identical both of them are x square so therefore uh, we are going to equate uh, these uh, right hand sides of the equations uh, as well so therefore we can write this one as uh, 34 minus uh, 30 times uh, cosine of alpha is going to be equal to 73 plus uh, 48 uh, times uh, cosine of alpha and now i'm going to move uh, this uh, 30 cosine of alpha to the right hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move this uh, 73 in the opposite direction so therefore we can write uh, 34 minus uh, 73 is going to be equal to 48 uh, times the uh, cosine of alpha plus uh, 30 times uh, cosine of alpha as well and now we are going to subtract uh, these numbers and we are going to combine these uh, terms as well so therefore we can write uh, 78 uh, times uh, cosine of uh, alpha is going to be equal to negative uh, 39 and now we are going to divide both uh, sides by 78 and here we can see 78 and 78 is gone so therefore uh, our cosine of alpha is going to be equal to if we reduce this one that is going to give us uh, 1 divided by 2 so therefore this is going to become negative uh, 1 divided by 2 so thus our cosine of uh, angle alpha turns out to be negative 1 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, equation 1 and here i have copied down equation 1 over here and now let's focus on this uh, cosine of alpha we already found out the value of cosine of alpha as negative 1 divided by 2 so therefore i'm going to substitute that value over here as negative 1 divided by 2 so therefore we can write uh, x square equals to 34 minus uh, 30 times uh, negative 1 divided by 2 and here we can see this negative and negative is going to give us a positive sign so therefore x square is going to be equal to 34 plus uh, 30 times 1 divided by 2 is going to give us uh, 15 so therefore we are going to have uh, x square equals to 49 on the right hand side and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we are going to have a uh, two values of x x equal to positive 7 and the other x value is going to be negative 7 and now we can see x equal to negative 7 is not possible since we are dealing with this uh, side length so therefore we are going to reject uh, this uh, negative value of x and we are going to accept uh, x equal to positive 7 so thus our x value turns out to be positive uh, 7 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye